Alec Benjamin. Selamat kembali Let's ke go. Malaysia. <laughs> we're pretty sure Alec Hello, was going to be mad just now. Well, we actually said welcome back to Malaysia. Yes. Because we'll be here in November. <laughs> yes, I'm coming very soon. And um, the first time I had ever been to that section of the world, uh, the first country I went to was Malaysia, and it was wonderful. I had a, I had an amazing time. So I still tell people all the stories about the trip and everything, and and all the food that I tried and all the stuff. So it was very cool. You, you did mention about food and everything, right? Name us one food, if you still remember any, that you cannot roti, forget roti till now. Hey, can, can you say it again? Roti chanai. Roti chanai. Yes. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go. So like Ili was saying just now, when you come to Malaysia, of course, we'll make new memories with you. But before November, of course, now we want to talk about your latest album, Uncommentary First, you know. We know that it's an album about adulting and navigating through life and everything. To us, it's something that is very personal, you know. So is this the most personal I like Benjamin album to date? I would say for me, I think that it's probably the most honest because right. I felt like at the time it was like I had started writing it you know after everything shut down and um, I thought like maybe I was gonna have to get a new job or something or I, you know I didn't know what was gonna happen right because I couldn't really sort of travel and do music the way that I was used to doing it and so for a while I just kind of stopped and I made this record I didn't even know that it was gonna turn into an album um, but I mm. just wrote the thing that I wanted to write because I felt like it was very sort of like uh, it was very like soothing for me to just say some of the things that I wanted to say and so I think all my music is personal but I think this one was maybe the most honest because I was pretty sure that nobody was ever going to hear it so I wasn't worried about saying things that made me uncomfortable because uh, <laughs> I thought that I was going to have to get a new job anyways so <laughs> wait why were you sure that no yeah. one was going to hear it I mean was it like something that you wanted to well, keep well, I mean, yeah when when the when the world shut down I was like sort of I felt like you know like I was sort of at like a really pivotal point in my career and all of a sudden all of my tours and everything they were all canceled you know and so i was like yeah. well i don't know how long i'm stuck inside for and by the time i get out of this i don't know if anybody's even gonna remember me so oh, you know no. i didn't even well, yeah, you know but i feel very fortunate that i still have the opportunities that i have but you know i know a lot of people weren't so lucky and not just in music but also people who own restaurants and other businesses and stuff yeah they weren't able to survive so I didn't know if my business was going to survive the pandemic either. So uh, I made the music not knowing if the album would ever even be released. Wow, that, that is so, oh my goodness. Well, we're so happy that you released it. We are so happy we got to hear it. We the, do. The whole world is listening to it. And then we're going to hear it live. You know, when you come here. So this yeah. is so, so amazing. And that 13 songs on this album, which one of it is like your ultimate favorite? I think probably the song Hill I Will Die On. Why? That's my favorite one. I like the lyrics. I think that I did something lyrically in that song that maybe I've done before, but I feel like I've I I I am I'm perfecting my craft in terms of like, you know, my the way I comment on things and 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 sort of like Ooh. oh no, I think that I like the poetry in the song. I think it's a nice poem. Like we're very 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 excited for you. I mean you've achieved so much already, I like, okay? You've got songs, we've got the platinum wow. awards, you. you've gone on tours, mm -hmm. you were stuck in lockdown, you wrote this album thinking no one's gonna hear it, but everyone is hearing <laughs> it right now. Yeah, what is left in Alec Benjamin's to achieve list? Can you tell us about that? Um, well, I'd like to someday have a family. That would be nice. Oh. Um, well, you know. <laughs> I would like to, I think my parents did a good job raising my sister and I. So I think ultimately, oh. like, I'd like to have some kids and do a good job raising them. That's, like, left on the list. But with no matter, like, how much I do or whatever, you know, I always feel like the same sort of, like, underdog, like, scrappy sort of mentality. So even though, like, I feel, I look back on it and, like, when people say to me, like, oh, look how much you've done. It's like, whoa, I have done a lot, you know, and some, but it yeah. doesn't always feel that, it doesn't always feel that way. And so I feel feel the same way as I did the first time you know I, I like was visiting you guys or whatever and just getting started you know I always feel like I'm starting at the bottom and have something to work forward to or look forward to and work towards so um I never like sit back and like look in the mirror and go like I'm doing great <laughs> like it doesn't I don't ever do that we're gonna play a game with you right now because we know we we know and we kind of hope that you love Malaysia so we're gonna play a movie game with you okay mm -hmm. so you've okay. got lots of songs out you know from your first album all the way to this one so we're going to show you a few Malaysian movie poster. Okay. 
Okay, we'll tell you a bit of the synopsis okay. of these films, and you're gonna tell us which song is perfect as the soundtrack of the film. Okay. All right, let's go. Ili, you wanna go with the first one? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so I like the first one is about an interracial relationship in Malaysia because it's really tough to be in an interracial relationship in Malaysia. Okay, because like religion and everything like that. So, but they both of them okay. ended up together. Yay! Happy ending. Okay, and I had to pick one of my songs to go with that. Yes. 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 Um, suddenly I'm forgetting all of my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Interracial relationship, things were not working out at the start, but over time, did. A lot of struggle. Did, a lot of struggle. struggle. <laughs> oh, yeah, my song Sneakers. I have a cheat code here. My manager sitting next to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like next that. movie. This one is about um, a bunch of girls who play soccer or football. Okay. okay, and of course, you know, in the girl world, lots of drama and everything with yeah, their love lives and, and all that. So it's all about friendship, sport, and love. Love. Anything you can do for gold and ginchu? My song, the the way you felt. The way you felt. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> I don't know if that fits, but that's okay. it. If you have a longer interview with Alec, we're gonna make him sing like which part exactly. Which <laughs> okay, all right. Next time. All right. So the last one. Ooh, ooh. This is okay. This is a little scary. Oh my god. This is a horror movie, and it's basically about a family who. I I, I don't know. Okay, no. It's a very mis it's a very mystery yeah. film about like you know in a. Yeah. Chorus and everything, and there's my like, song, like all these my song, ghosts. If I kill someone for you. My song, if I kill someone for you. That was oh, oh wow, Very that was song. fast. That was fast. That wow, I like it. You, you didn't need a cheat code. You were just like, yep, yep, I know this one. No, no, no. Okay, can, can, you me, you know, can you just say this? Okay, can you just say okay. The name of the director of the movie is Shamsul Yusuf. Okay, <laughs> Shamsul Yusuf. Yeah, so can you just say Shamsul Yusuf? Hit me up. Shamsul Yusuf, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're gonna be in the next movie. La, be ready, okay. Already. Before your trip to Malaysia in November, what do you want to tell all the Malaysians who are looking forward to your concert? I'm ex I'm just excited to have the opportunity to return to your amazing country, and I hope that I you know see some new faces, but also get to meet um, get to see some people that I haven't seen in a while. And and uh, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm I'm just thrilled to have the opportunity to uh, to visit you guys again. So I hope that you'll come see me play. Yay! For sure. Uh, lunch in Malaysia is on Kenu yeah. and I. Okay, we're gonna get yes. to the cinema. Okay? <laughs> With Shamsul Yusuf, he'll be at the same table. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good.